Very recently, I posted a video on the App Exchange, and those guys have been very busy uh, since uh, then. Uh, so, I, when I in the admin tab click on Extension Management, uh, I get this link that takes me to the Security App Exchange, and I already log in with my credentials. You can create your account. This is uh, free, and in in here, there's uh, all this stuff is actually new. Very impressive. Uh, uh, this component. Um, rules and, and, and reference sets and reports and uh, uh, searches for events and flows uh, but this one is actually caught my attention uh, security anomaly content so let's actually take a look at that one so when you click on it you get a link to this particular page that actually shows you everything that's uh, in there so here are interesting things that uh, we can actually uh, uh, see in detail. For example, this one, remote inbound communication from a foreign country region. There's also some building blocks, and these are interesting. Countries with no remote access. I should not get remote access uh, uh, from those countries. So all I need to do to actually uh, deploy that is to click on the download, and the, the file gets uh, into uh, your browser. And all I need to do is go back here and click add point to the browser and this is uh, this is the actual file the anomaly I click add gets uh, the, the content gets uh, validated to make sure that is uh, good enough to be installed in your system and in here you get uh, an explanation of all the stuff that I actually replace so one rule is replace some groups are added you know components uh, change and you can ex keep existing data or you can actually re uh, re replace it. This is a demo system and, and I'm just going to go ahead and install uh, the whole thing. Actually on installing this is very easy. You, you, when you click on the actual uh, component, this one we just install, you have the option to uninstall it. So let's go to the offenses and see some of those uh, offenses in action. So here um, on the offenses I click here on rules and in here I'm going to search for uh, I think it was remote access right and when I look at that this one is one of the new ones remote inbound communication from a foreign country and region so let me actually click on it to see better what this is made of so it, the rule explains you know countries and regions with no remote access. That's a building block and notice that that's one of the building blocks that was also added uh, with this uh, with this rule. So let's say that we want to take a look at that building block from countries that are not allowed. So all I need to do is actually switch the view here to building blocks. Let me look for, I'm going to put the word here, countries. So in this one, actually, this is the one, countries with no remote access. So let me actually click on that one and see what is made of. Oh, okay. So if I get that in, inbound traffic from the previous uh, rule that uses this building block. Well, but there's a problem. Now we do business with Chile. So I don't want to put uh, the, the whole South America here. So how we can modify this is actually very easy. Notice that the condition here is when the source is located and then I, I can actually add another condition just like that when the source, and notice how the the, the list uh, shrinks and this is the one, but I'm going to make it a not so I click on the and and it becomes a not and I'm going to select Chile because we now do business with Chile in South America so I don't want to get, I want to allow it in both, I don't want offenses to fire when traffic come from Chile. So I go here to uh, this, when I click on this geographic region, this panel expands. And actually, let me put this bigger, I don't see the buttons here. And in South America, I can click on Chile and click Add and click Submit. And now my building block is being modified. And when I get traffic from Chile, that offense is not going to fire. Take a look at that 
uh, app exchange there's a bunch of goodies in there that can help you uh, get even more value from your Curator deployment.